Well, it is our time for our Wednesday backbench battle. And a very good morning to Labor MP Julian Hill and the Liberal MP Keith Wallahan. Folks, Paul Keating, he's blasted our top spy Mike Burgess for undermining the government's efforts to stabilise relations with China. Julian, to you first, do you agree with what Paul Keating has had to say about the ASIO boss, that he should be turfed out? No, I think he's wrong on this issue. Mr Keating's views are well known and he's a former leader of Australia who we talked about previously in our little segment here who yeah. I deeply respect and I think Keith in many respects expressed the same view. Um, I dearly wish that the world had turned out as Mr Keating and the then government, then Labor government, was working towards in the 1980s and 90s. I really do. And the ASEAN summit today... Um, moves things in that direction. It's a really big moment for Australia and for deepening our relations in Southeast Asia, which was a big part of Mr Keating's focus and legacy. Uh, but it's a fact that the world and the region is worried about sabre rattling, is worried about um, pressure or breaking of the rules-based international order uh, from which Australia has long benefited. And the government is focused on deterring conflict, not provoking conflict, on deterring conflict. Yeah, you're, you're right. La the last couple of weeks we've had this panel. Um, Paul Keating's come up a few times. It's almost timed to coincide with this. Um, Keith, what do you make of the, the, the former Prime Minister's comments? I mean, he is revered by many in the Labor Party and, and around the country, but he, he doesn't get those security reports anymore. No, he doesn't. And they're extremely unhelpful. And as I said previously on this show, I, I thought Paul Keating has um, interesting contributions on economics and reform. Uh, but when it comes to foreign policy in the world that we live in, I, I don't think he realises how things have changed. Uh, we live in a multipolar world and an organisation like ASEAN is extremely important. And that has been conducted here in our home city of Melbourne for both myself and Julian. And we've seen also in Canberra in the parliament where we've had uh, the leaders of Papua New Guinea and the Philippines address our parliament in joint sittings. And then there was a speech recently at this summit uh, by the prime minister of Singapore. Uh, and it just shows how out of touch Paul Keating is on this issue. Yeah, Susan Lee on the program a short time ago, she doubled down on what uh, James Patterson had to say on Sky last night, Julian, uh, that the Prime Minister needs to come out and publicly support the ASIO boss and, and also distance himself from Paul Keating's comments. Um, do you think he has to do that? Well, I think he already did. I mean, you know, let's not get stuck on Susan Lee and whatever world she's living in at the moment. Um, the Prime Minister's been very clear, but look, I'm a member of the Parliamentary Joint Committee of Intelligence and Security. I work directly with the heads of the security agencies in that capacity. They're professional and they're very direct. Mm. Um, what I would say is the government is entirely focused, laser-like focus on community security and securing Australia. Um, uh, the threats which Mr Burgess have talked about, um, we've looked under the hood, they're real. Espionage and foreign interference in our country is at record levels. They're not making this up. The threat of counter-terrorism has diminished somewhat but is not gone it remains present and there's a whole range of emerging threats. The government's role, and this is what we're doing, is to make sure that the security agencies are equipped with the right resources, the right powers and subject to proper and rigorous oversight. We don't give them everything they ask for. You know, there is a tension, and I think Keith would agree with this, in a liberal democracy between individual liberty on one hand and collective security on the other. Um, their responsibilities, which the parliamentarians involved take very seriously, we challenge them. It can't always be done in public, uh, but I do have faith in Mr Burgess. The Prime Minister's expressed that, and again, it's always difficult to know what planet uh, the Deputy Leader of the Opposition is in fact living on from day to day.